Hello there. Today I'll be talking about how you can avoid being scammed online, how you can spot a fake page so that they will not run away with your money on Instagram, Facebook, or any social media page. So, there's something Instagram has given us. For instance, you can check the number of times a page has changed its or her name or their name. Or just go to about account and click on username or something, something. Then Instagram can tell you this person has changed his or her name 10 times, 20 times, 30 times. Now, it is normal for some people to change their name like five times. Like maybe the first time they started the brand, they were not really clear about what they wanted to do. Maybe they were selling shoes and they now added bag. Then with time, they saw that the bags were moving more. They decided to focus on shoe. I think between three to five times, it's still okay for name change. But if you are seeing that a brand has changed his or her name, for 30 times 50 times 60 times red flag what should you do you should run so for instagram that is the first thing i check when i want the to next buy. point is their prices to other vendors now for anything you want to buy online definitely you have an idea of the price if you want to buy a wig for instance if you've been using good wigs you know how much super double drunk cost you know how much double drunk cost if it's air blend you know how much it costs like there's a particular price but there's always a price range for things now for weeks for example i'm a lover of good weeks like i invest a lot on weeks i have different levels of weeks let's assume you want to buy super double drawn wig 20 inches between me and you if you buy weeks well you will know that for that price if you want to buy something of that price you have to prepare like at the time of making this video you have to prepare like seventy thousand naira. you are buying super double drawn of 20 inches now, you now saw a vendor that's telling you that super double drone, 100% woman A, to come and buy it for 30K. <laughs> it cannot be his original super double drone. And for that length, never. It cannot be double drone, 12 inches, because for weeks, the longer it is, the more expensive it is. Do you understand now? There are price range for all these things. If the price is too ridiculous, like you've not gotten that kind of deal, in your entire life and you just saw an instagram page popping up and you're like oh this is a good deal and before you think about anything or trying to check the originality of the page the first thing is oh let me jump at it this is a good deal your money is about to go <laughs> do you understand am, am i saying there are no weeks of 35k of course there are weeks of 35k 20k 15k but what i'm saying is they cannot be 100 percent woman air they can be air blend fine okay but you cannot tell me you want a, a frontal wig and your budget is 30k so check the price range of the normal things you sell then you can compare the price to other vendors that you've known how much is the price around but if that price is ridiculous i'd advise even if you want to buy from the person at all try and buy just one say this cloth and you know that this cloth is twenty thousand naira, and you're like okay this person is selling for 10k buy one and test the water so that it's not going to add the premium tiers at least when you cry for one it's still fear that how you cry for maybe you lose like Seventy thousand. <laughs> the next point is check the kind of people that are following the person now there's a feature on instagram when you click on a page if you come to my page for instance top collections if you have friends that are following my page it's going to show followed by um blah 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 the collections followed by this 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 and five others so the people that are following the page that you know you may do yourself if you are by going to the dm and asking oh i saw this page they sell these i'd like to ask have you bought from them are they real is my payment safe see i've had experience with being scammed online and it's not what anyone should go through so it's okay for you to make thorough research of who you are buying from if you don't want to enter anyone's dm because maybe you've not spoken before all that i understand just relax you are just getting started no one is going to scam you on instagram you have me okay the next point is pictures no genuine vendor would not have a picture in a consistent background yeah there are lots of genuine vendors that are number one they are lazy to snap because it's hard to create content on your own. So they are lazy. And when I say they are lazy, it's not to insult them, but maybe they have a tight schedule. I think that's a better phrase. Maybe the person has a nine to five job, also doing business and is married after children, juggling everything is just quite hard. Yeah, I understand. But for me, if I am buying from you, you have to have pictures you take yourself and videos you take yourself. No matter how busy you are, you can hire someone to take care of that aspect for your brand if you are quite busy, right? So watch out for background. If you go to my page, I will add a video. There's a consistent background which we use in snapping pictures. And that is to build trust. We use it for pictures. We use it for videos so that people can trust us, trust our brand. And a consistent background 
is something important. If all the pictures that person is posting is just all these Oyibo pictures, Oyibo picture is the picture you are given by a supplier in China, in Turkey, in Dubai, Vietnam, or anywhere you import from. So I think that as an entrepreneur, you should step up from your box. So watch out. Is there a particular background? For every product, there's this general picture we see everywhere on Instagram. For all niche, you see bags. There's a particular bag. You see the picture all everywhere, all around. It's filtered around. Is there a specific picture or video different from what you see around taken by this vendor? That's something that you can also use to see if they are real or if they are scam. Can you click the like button? This would help you to know this video is valuable and push it out to more people that needs to this content. Thank you. The next thing I check when I want to shop from any brand is branded box. Now, my page is store collections. Because I use paper bag to pack people's order. Now, I'll go and look where you will show pictures of where you are packing out your orders and sending it out. The name on your page, does it tally with the name of the paper bag? You have to write your name on your paper bag. I would check it and cross check. Okay, it's the same name. Yeah, tick. <laughs> so tick that out immediately you see a video of their packages when they are sending out others, it's the name there and all that. It's very important. Next thing is customers review. People screenshot their customers review. Some some even tag their customer. If you're in doubt, you can go into the DM of the customer. Have you truly bought from this person? Then if it's if it's a screenshot, you can also DM the customer. But I haven't done that before if I want to shop from someone. But it depends on the amount of money you are paying to this vendor. If you are paying five hundred thousand to shop, maybe you want to buy and resell. Ah, uh, more. You have to do as many research as possible. Do you understand? You can't be joking with your money. Even I would advise if you want to buy in large quantity from someone, first buy few, like 10,000, 20,000, 30,000 money that, of course, if you lose 30,000, it's going to pay you now, of course, but you want that will not pay you too much. Do you understand? 10K will pay you, but not going to pay you too much. Like, the pain of 10,000 compared to the pain of 300,000, like, they are far apart, right? So, if you are buying a book, just buy you two first and see how it is okay and check deleted comments there are some pages where you see that there's, there's a place where instagram is to put 20 comments i don't know maybe you've experienced this before you see a page instagram is saying 20 comments then you click to read the comments you cannot see two comments you're not like uh -uh, what's going on who deleted all these comments ah run it's a scam page <laughs> or it may not even be a scam page some pages when they collect your money they don't deliver for the next six months eight months <laughs> i've seen things on instagram when people come and complain they go and delete their their comments some brands are even owing people money. Some will not even deliver. They're not even scam. They have physical business, but they only deliver to about three people out of ten. I just don't want to mention any business or their name, but you know, especially here vendors on Instagram. One thing I cannot buy on Instagram, <laughs> I have gotten air on Instagram before, right? But apart from that one time experience, it was because a friend referred me to that person. Apart from that one time experience, I do not buy air on Instagram from a random person. All those people, they lose you. I have someone that I can buy from. I know it's shop. I order and it delivers. But it's not a random person. I know it's shop. And my first experience was me going to his physical store to buy. Do you understand? But someone you've not been to their physical store, you don't know them, buying wigs from them. Wig vendor, I bet no vex. So <laughs> but I've seen a lot of bad things, especially wigs. Ah, it's too much. You can even buy a wig of sixty thousand when it comes. It's sponge, something that you cannot even use more than three times. I see buying wigs as investment. Imagine investing in wigs. Like, okay, I use this thing for two years, three years, and it comes. You can only use it for one month. Huh. How to shine your eyes, so next one is check their personal page. Someone like me on my business page, there's an highlight that when you click on it, it leads you to my personal Instagram page. You can also watch us for that when you want to um shop from someone. Not all vendors add their personal Instagram page, but most times I see that of vendors do it to build trust. So Check their highlights. Is there anywhere where they tag their personal page? So when you go to their personal page, you can see them and be like, okay, this person is real. This person is not running away with my money. It's important. Check that out. The next thing is check their behind the scenes. Posting behind the scenes is important. Like, if you say you are making cream now, organic cream, you should be able to show us behind the scene. All this information would help you decide that this person is real and no it's scam. Because I've seen people lose money online. Personally, I have lost money online. And it is not a palatable experience. It is not what anyone should go through. After checking all these things, most importantly, before you buy something big from a vendor, make sure you buy something small. If you see a vendor's page and you love, say, six shoes, someone like me, I love to buy my things in bulk, right? Try and buy one first and see with your Koro Koro eyes. When you now see that one and you like it, then you cannot go ahead. I think it's a way of reducing your risk. So you now have to 
lose too much okay also have it in mind that someone has ten thousand followers or twenty thousand followers or hundred thousand followers does not mean that they're not a scam people buy followers and the important thing you should check out is their followers some people will go and check their following is indian people chinese people all these i can't like robots people that you go to their page and it's just one post they have or they don't have any post at all check the people that are following them are they real people like so people just buy followers and you see big followers you think that oh this person has been here for a long time hello <laughs> they are about to jack out with your money support the law oh and learning yeah <laughs> even though you're trying to save your money and you don't want instagram people to scam you i have a video now you can make more money side also lucrative business ideas you can start with ten thousand twenty thousand fifty thousand or even hundred thousand and you click here watch and enjoy because this year we must make a lot of money it is important to learn how to make money multiply your money invest your money and all that good stuff so i have compiled this video lucrative business ideas for you businesses you can start with ten thousand twenty thousand fifty thousand or even hundred thousand and you start going and you make good money from it click on this playlist watch and enjoy thank you for watching i'll definitely see you in my next video bye